Hey guys, long time no see, welcome back. This week I have another DIY video for you since Mother's Day is right around the corner. It just like flew up on me this month. So these are some last minute Mother's Day gift ideas. If you have yet to get your mom something, these are affordable, easy to do, cute, and personalized. Personalized things are definitely the way to go for Mother's Day. It's budget friendly and it's very, very thoughtful and I think your mom will really appreciate it. So these are some awesome last minute gifts. I hope you guys enjoy them and let's jump into this video. First, I'm doing this memory jar or 365 reasons why I love you. So this is a perfect time to recycle any old candle jars and then just take some fun colored scrapbook paper. I got these tie-dye ones from Walmart in a pack and they're all like color coordinated, which is cool. And then first I'm just cutting out a square for like the little tag and you could kind of do this however you want. I decided to handwrite it and then glue it on there. And then I took some pretty lace ribbon and just wrapped it around and made a little bow, but you could get as creative as you want. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start to cut out strips of paper. There's really like, you could do this any way you want. I'm just cutting strips and just making little squares, but you could even do a hundred reasons. I just think 365 is cute because then your mom has something to open every day for the rest of the year till next Mother's Day. But just cut up a bunch of squares and then start writing away. It might even be helpful if you look at old pictures and stuff to write down cool memories or just reasons why you love her or appreciate her. Then just fold it up and put it in a jar. And this is a bit time consuming, but it definitely is very, very thoughtful and meaningful. And Luna was always peeking out. Thumbs up if you saw her. Next is this really cool photo book from Simple Prints. So this is an app and you basically just customize your own photo book. So you can customize like the inside cover, um, the spine of the book, which is really cool. And then it automatically lets you just sync pictures from Facebook, from your photo album, Instagram, all that good stuff. And it's really easy. You just select the picture you want as your cover. You could rearrange them and it's really affordable as well. And it's just really easy. You do it all from your phone at home and it delivers it right to your door. Now this actually takes like four to seven days to get to you. So if it's a little too late now, you might want to think about doing it for Father's Day or just give it to your mom a little bit late because I definitely think it turned out super cute. And I also have a 10% off code for you guys that I will leave down below. And here's my final book. I absolutely love it. I got the hardcover one, which I think is great, but they also have like a soft cover. And then you just have all your pictures that you chose. Sticking with that picture option, instead of just getting your mom a card, I think it'd be awesome to scan some old pictures because most parents, at least my mom, does not know how to work a computer. So you could scan them and if they have Facebook you could just be like happy Mother's Day and post a bunch of pictures. Next, we have this emergency kit, which is perfect for your mom's purse. I'm using an old Ipsy bag, which works great. And then just stick in whatever your mom needs, like band-aid, sunblock, um, nail file, chapstick, all this stuff you see here. And just whatever she likes, and then just stick it in a bag and give it to her to keep in her purse. Let me know in the comments down below what you're getting for your mom for Mother's Day or what you're doing with her. Kind of share some ideas and that way everybody can read them and get even more ideas. I'll also leave last year's Mother's Day video that I did down below as well if you're interested in finding some more DIYs for that. And if you missed any of my last videos, feel free to click right over here and I will see you guys next time. Bye.